okay good morning everyone so uh, actually i don't have anything to present but i just wanted to show you that uh, uh, what me and uh, some of my uh, collaborator have actually created so basically uh, this is a some small you can say the self learning course on designing of iot and implementation of iot so this entire course will be available online i mean i will put on our like web page and then i am also creating a github uh, repository so this github repository will contain all the codes that we have used in this one so how actually i started this particular program so in early i mean late uh, 2016 so <clears throat> i was uh, working as a like a technical consultant for a global power source so i was designing few prototypes for them so that time they supported like uh, some hardware with me so we completed that project and then we had this particular like a hardware so then we thought that why don't we start creating some kind of a, <clears throat> some small applications using those boards and sensors and everything and then the idea comes that okay how about like uh, starting with some kind of designing a course so then we <clears throat> start with this one and uh, we completed entire course maybe in 2017 uh 2017 somewhere september november yes but then again we verified it tested it and finally in 2018 i wanted to publish it actually i wanted to write a book on this thing so that will be the next step so which is going on so in this course i have designed almost 50 experiments but here i have taken only 49 because still one experiment is not verified so i have taken a 49 experiment and in this experiments are designed in such a way that basically into three categories the first category is how we are integrating the sensor boards with the uh, available microcontroller or microprocessor then another category is uh, how we are implementing the communication protocol right when you we learn about the bluetooth we learn about the zigbee we learn about mode bus and everything but in practical when we want to implement this thing so how to do that thing and uh, how what kind of like a difficulty that you are going to face and then the third category is dealing with a, some kind of like a software just for example let's say you wanted to take this data on a cloud then how to do the analytics of that uh, data collected then how you are going to uh, work with a third party let's say i am getting some kind of like a data from a cloud but i wanted to get it on some kind of like my social handle just for example twitter maybe facebook i want some notification so how i am going to do that thing or just for example let's say i want to do something related to matlab so how i am going to process this data in a matlab right so all this actually involve many parties into this one maybe matlab is handled by someone else then social media is handled by some other company the cloud is handling by someone else so in practical system you need to integrate all this thing so how they talk to each other which is a very important part and i think this kind of thing the students they generally don't learn in the class or even whatever we design a practical it is also like a stand alone system stand alone system means what maybe you are designing something on a kit and then students are performing so they never face any kind of like a difficulty in that right difficulty in the sense it's a very straight forward maybe you give them the code you give them some kind of like experiment that's it they just put some kind of like a connection connect with the cro or maybe with a computer and they see the output right so it's a stand alone system so they never face what are actually problems in system so considering all this concern uh, i thought that it will be a good use to all the students it is a self learning i mean no one can teach anyone so i am just putting all this course and material online and uh, with their code so students if they are interested they can buy board from outside and then <clears throat> they can start performing those experiments right so here there were like a two main uh, uh, ts with me i mean the i can say the uh, intern with me so one michel and uh, prasasti sir so they helped me a lot in designing this one so so here it's a main module so many of the experiments are actually conducted on arduino board so arduino board almost experiment number 1 to experiment number 
is on Arduino board. Then module two is a tiny 85 volt, which is again based on like microcontroller. Then uh, <coughs> ESP8266 board. So again for Wi-Fi connection and everything, you are required that. Then Node MCU board, Raspberry Pi. Now in actual scenario, when we go, there is always some kind of like you know the heterogeneous network. You will never get the homogeneous network or different kind of like a board. They come together, they create a network. So there are few experiments related to that. How these two boards are different, but how they can start talking to each other. Then the last one is related to software. Now this again we divided into like different kind of difficulties. Maybe few experiments are very easy. Maybe you just connect it, put some code, a line of code, and that's it. It will start working. Some are like moderate. Some are like <coughs> difficult one. I would uh, not put the difficult world over here to not to discourage the students actually. So most of the experiments at the higher side, it's like very difficult. At least it will require some six to seven hours to complete that entire experiment. Right. So based on that, we have decided this difficulty level. And here, it's a entire index for that. And here we also divided into category, as I said, basically three categories. Whether it is related with the sensor integration, board integration, or maybe a communication or a software, right? Yeah, so this is just one example. So this is one experiment. So this entire experiment manual is written, entire code is given. The code will be over here. And again, I'm going to give the code in a GitHub. So if you want to download it, you can simply download it. You can make some kind of like a modification into it and you can use this one. So this course, uh, is uh, of approximately around 70 to 80 hours and uh, so if you spend like you know like uh, your summer break to learn this particular course you can complete this course so <clears throat> I uh, I'll release and I'll send this course to every one of you so what I want from you is that maybe you can explain this to your students even though your area is not like IoT or maybe embedded system but just tell them that this particular course is designed by EHTC and this will be available to them and they can use it anytime they want right another thing is that if you know few professors in other colleges and other things so please pass on these files to them because it's not just made only for like our college students it is open for everyone right because <clears throat> and it took really long time to develop this thing now my next step is that i want to create a video of all these experiments so students will have this entire visual uh, <coughs> learning that and then we can put it on our youtube channel so then students can have this but it will take some time so this is the first step towards that one so if any one of you are interested even you can start performing this experiment or in case there is some part in your syllabus related to IOT or maybe if you are teaching an embedded system so you can take some uh, experiments from here okay. so this is I wanted to show you to everyone so this is I just released maybe just uh, last week and uh, I am still modifying file because I found some errors in this one so I am correcting it and once I will correct it then again I will forward it to everyone with the github uh, repository link right okay so I would like to know everyone's feedback. So in the next version, again, I can improve further on this. Okay, so on a similar line, uh, because I find that it is like a great value to students. Similar line, I am also working on this another project where actually I am creating, uh, I have written down, I mean, I've gone through the syllabus of Mumbai University, then AICT University and then uh, i have come up with this particular like a topic so these are related to like mathematics topic so what i want to create is that thing instead of like a tutorial or anything i think it will be best benefit to students that uh, if they do some kind of like a math lab so recently like i'm a part of a <coughs> pta uh, group in my uh, son's school so over there i have developed some experiment for seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine students. So they are actually learning the mathematics through some activity. So they are able to visualize this thing. So then I thought, why not applying the same thing to like engineering education? So 
uh, I have taken all this like major topics into mathematics and then <clears throat> now I want to start creating the experiment related to that and whatever the experiment will be there it will give insight to the students how to visualize that thing and I think I have started to talk to like a few faculties regarding that whoever sir has already sent me like a few experiment to that now I'll check it I'll see that if there is a modification Ashish is going to provide me a uh, few experiment based on that thing maybe uh, uh, so then I'm just inviting everyone to uh, if you have a time and if you have <clears throat> energy so please collaborate with me provide me at least experiment if you are taking any experiment related to mathematics any of this concept is like covered into that one right now we have learned about how to stitch this one right image processing so if it is based on maths also we can take it and then students can really understand what do you mean by correlation what do you mean by uh, local correlation, global correlation. So this is what is like final aim. And at the end of this entire project, we want to come up with some kind of like a coursework and it will be available in an open space. So we don't want to have any kind of like a book publication or anything. It will be open space and it will be available to all the students, right? So maybe next time we'll have a coursework of this and then everyone's like credit and everything will be shared to everyone. So please, if you have any idea related to that, so please share with me. So and any experiment, in doing, even if you are doing something in control system, if you are doing something in like electronics, something you are doing in a communication, whatever, which is covering any particular point of like all these topics of mathematics, even though few topics are not covered here, that you can just let me know. So I can add into that and then I can start designing those things. So right now few ME students have agreed to work with me. So they have taken like a few topics into that. They are also working. But anyway, the more the hand, better will be the result. So on that note, I just wanted to invite all of you to please contribute with me if you have anything. <coughs> okay. So these are the two things that I wanted to show you. And then one more thing. I mean, this Saturday only I have uh, <coughs> attended one conference in IIT Bombay so in uh, IIT Bombay so they have actually they there is a group called FOSSC which is working on open source <coughs> programs and simulation tools and everything so they have come up with a very good like a uh, laptop this laptop you can see here and so I have seen that I have seen the demo I have used it and it is extremely good like a uh, uh, laptop and I find it like a very useful and the cost of this laptop is just 10,000 rupees. So it is extremely good. The specification I'll just read you. Intel Core, core processor up to 1.9 gigahertz and it's actually Atom. So and then uh, RAM is 4 GB RAM, 11.6 inch uh, HD display. The battery backup is 10.56 and connectivity, all the connectivity you have like 80.211 then uh, uh, Wi-Fi then uh, sorry Bluetooth then also we have uh, HD graphics card into this one then uh, this with this with uh, SD card you can extend its memory to like 128 GB and you can also put it one terabyte of hard disk if you want but it is not coming with this laptop so and uh, uh, the weight it is almost even it is I think less than one kg and uh, I think and they are preloaded with all the open source and everything this is a very good like a laptop so I'm thinking to buy for myself to do the experiment on this thing in case any one of you are interested so let me know so we can put like more numbers uh, for ordering those kind of like a laptop so <coughs> uh, and I'll just pass on this like specification to all of you yeah so the pre-install is uh, Libra Office Suite, Latex, Textworks, Scilab, Octave, Open uh, Modlica, Inkspace, Gym, Blender, OpenForm, eSIM, Syncwin Studio, Emacs, and even if you want, if you have like a uh, your XP or original XP or maybe any Microsoft product you have, even you can put it on that. Thing. So it's a really like a good product, and I would like to have some kind of like a hands on this. So there, right now, what they are saying is that minimum quantity of order they require is of 300. But then I ask them, like, what about like individual who wants to have some kind of hands-on in that? So they said that you just send your request, we may process it. So 
if any of you are like interested on this thing so just let me know so maybe i can put together all these numbers and let you know so this is a good uh, like a product design from iit bombay now another thing that iit bombay is actually offering in a open source way is that during this summer time they are offering a faculty retreat so that will be a two or three day program entire day program in iit bombay and uh, they are going to let us know about their activities what they are doing in a open source and uh, in case if you want to contribute so how you can contribute what you can contribute so they are going to explain all this thing and it will be a networking event for all the faculty who are interested in that so that will be somewhere around like june or july so once the dates and everything is published i'll send you a mail so whomsoever is interested please uh, fill uh, that form and that uh, uh, apply for that like a retreat it is going to be a really really beneficial to all of us so thank you very much now maybe